Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video, we have discussed lot about different serverless services provided by Amazon Web Services, right? Like considering AWS Lambda as compute resources in the serverless domain, AWS DynamoDB as serverless backend database. Okay, apart from that, for real-time streaming, we have studied AWS Kinesis family or Kinesis family. Then we have studied SNS, SQS, ECS, all these stuffs, right? Now, combining all these, let us try to explore one particular architecture which I am going to explain in detail in this particular video, okay? If required, you can try to implement the same because all the sub modules, all the services used in this particular architecture, I have explained in our previous videos. The playlist link I'll be sharing in the description box. If you don't have idea about any service, whatever I am explaining in the architecture, then you can go through that and you can understand the details. Okay. So today's architecture is related to online cake delivery company. Okay, like that. So there will be a user who will be making a order for a cake. Okay. And then when the product will be or the cake will be delivered to that user. Then the complete cycle for that order is complete, and that particular backend pipeline we have to create using our all these serverless services, whatever we have studied. That's what our today's topic of discussion, right? So, overall conceptual design, how it will look in the backend. So, first there should be one API kind of stuff where user will order a cake, okay, and Using that, as soon as user will make an order for a cake, it should notify the cake maker, right? Then only cake maker will come to know that one new order created and he or she will start preparing that cake, right? And then once the cake is prepared, what the cake maker will do? They will notify the delivery company, okay? That the cake is ready and now the delivery company can deliver that particular order to the user, okay? So, once the cake is prepared, they will notify to the delivery company and delivery company will deliver that package, that order to the user, okay? And then, user will make a confirmation that yes, I have received the particular cake, whatever I have ordered and that way, our whole order pipeline will be completed, okay? Now, what is the architecture behind the scene? Let us try to explore. I will explain. Why I have used that particular service in detail, hope you will understand the logic and recreate the same architecture for your business requirement. Okay. So let us try to understand first the first component that is basically where user is making a request or user is making an order for a cake preparation. Okay. Right. So here is our user. What he or she will do, maybe using mobile app or using web based tool they will be making a request okay and obviously for front end back end connection we are going to use api so using api gateway we can create an api which is again serverless and what that api will do it will take the request from the user and in the back end basically one lambda is sitting which will make an entry in a dynamo db table so here the back end database is also serverless okay in the dynamo debit table they will be making an entry that c order is created okay user made an order like that okay and not only that the same lambda will put that record in a kinesis data stream okay i will tell you why this is required so in dynamo db one entry is there which is basically indicating that one user this particular user made this order and the same order is going to kinesis data stream okay what this kinesis data stream is doing this particular kinesis data stream is basically now notifying the cake maker okay the cook or the chef to that particular person this particular kinesis will notify okay how it will do so as soon as the request is coming in this kinesis data stream it will trigger a lambda okay and from this lambda using simple email service or using sns we can send a mail or maybe we can send a SMS message in mobile to that cake maker. Okay. So like this way to the cake maker, the order is gone. Okay. Now the cake maker will start preparing the order. Okay. Now here one important point I would like to discuss. 
that is here you might think that from this lambda we could directly change this particular lambda for event notification but the lambda to lambda chaining okay is very bad idea okay because if one lambda fails then restarting the whole process becomes very difficult maybe some kind of transaction you might lose and all these kind of issues might come in the road okay so always it is better you should not uh, connect lambda to lambda in between that either you can put sqs or kinesis data stream like that kind of buffer you can put okay so here we are using kinesis data stream to trigger this lambda okay i hope up to this it is perfectly clear to you now currently we are here where the cake maker is preparing the cake once the cake maker has made the order okay once the cake is ready what the cake maker will do he or she will basically call another api okay and using this api he or she will basically inform that the order is ready now the delivery company can pick up the order from the cake maker okay so once the cake maker says order is ready how he or she is saying basically they will be hitting one api again that is created using api gateway which is serverless api gateway will trigger lambda what the lambda is doing so initially when in DynamoDB we made an entry that time in DynamoDB it was showing that one order is created okay now this lambda what it will do it will update that same metadata or data whatever we have written in DynamoDB table initially there in the same row it will update that particular entry as order is ready to be picked up okay so initially order was placed then the order is prepared now the state is changed to order is ready to be picked up by the delivery company okay so in DynamoDB this particular lambda will update that way okay not only that this particular lambda will write that particular information that okay the order is ready to a another kinesis data stream okay and this kinesis data stream what it will do it, it will basically help to trigger or send the information to the delivery company that see the order is ready again here also same reason lambda to lambda chaining is not good so we are using here kinesis data stream okay so what the kinesis data stream is doing here it is basically triggering this particular lambda okay and this lambda is nothing but involved in notifying the delivery company that see the order is ready one particular delivery employee you just send to pick up the order from the cake company and send that to the customer okay like that responsibility this particular lambda is taking okay but again here is another catch try to understand very carefully okay suppose we are connecting the delivery company system directly with this lambda then at what rate from kinesis the information is coming that different cakes are ready now the delivery company can pick up at the same rate this particular delivery company should pick up the data like that ideally if we directly connect kinesis data stream with the delivery company via lambda right but it might not happen might be in delivery company suppose at a particular time five delivery employees are there okay and maybe in kinesis all together 10 uh, order confirmation that order is prepared this kind of message came okay then it is not possible right that this lambda will try to write and send all these 10 cakes whatever is ready but here actually only five delivery employees are there so what i am saying that the rate in which data is coming here it is it might not possible that the downstream job in the delivery company also have the same resources to deliver the product okay so obviously what we have to do we have to put some buffer in the middle so we can put sqs queue so lambda will simply put in sqs queue it can be fifo order something if one particular order is ready first then it will be taken up by this particular lambda and it will be notified to the delivery team and the delivery boy will pick up that particular product first and will deliver to that user who or the customer who has ordered and then uh, like that it will go in fifo order okay so this lambda is just reading the uh, data from SQSQ that this particular order is ready and delivery companies one by one taking from that lambda and then they are delivering that product to the user okay once user receives the product what he will do he or she will basically hit another api okay and this api will hit the lambda in the back end 
what this lambda will do the lambda will basically make an update in the same dynamo db order okay it will just update that the product is delivered once the product is delivered our complete cycle is ready okay so this is one overall architecture in a surfer less manner for a cake delivery so okay so all we are doing first user is making a request then here this particular pipeline is notifying the cake maker that one new order came once the cake maker has prepared the order he or she is basically hitting api and that api is hitting a lambda lambda is updating in the dynamo db table that is the order is ready soon it will be picked up by the delivery company and also it is triggering one lambda which will basically trigger the delivery company to deliver the product via kinesis data stream okay and here we are putting sqsq because at the rate in which the order completion request will be coming that might not happen that the same rate the delivery resource will be there for deliver okay so we are putting a sqsq for buffer purpose okay so this is kind of overall architecture like this way you can play with different serverless aws services and prepare very cool architecture for your particular business requirement i hope you understood this and you can even improve this particular architecture might be there are some problems or edge cases where this particular design might fail so there you can improve in with your own imagination okay all these things improvement you can do i mean and coming to implementation all these services i have covered right so i hope you will not be facing much issue in the implementation part just you have to uh, first create the conceptual design and once the detailed architecture of physical layout is created you have to give the same architecture a shape of python code or or the code in the language whatever you are comfortable with okay so this is all for my this video i hope you have enjoyed this particular session if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching